Turbines at this Egyptian wind farm turn in the strong, hot wind blowing off the Red Sea, producing power that is fed into the electrical grid. Today, wind power supplies only a fraction of Egypt's electricity. But with demand for power growing by up to 8% a year, more wind farms are being built. The uh, amount of wind energy in the installed power in Egypt, we can say 1%, 1.3%. But we arrived to 12% by 2020. More and bigger wind farms are planned. The building and managing of wind farms has until now been government run. In order to quickly expand, the government is commercializing its wind program. It knows exactly where new windmills need to go. We were able to learn from initial experiments about the different kinds of turbines and blades and towers and we gain the technical ability to come up with a resource map for Egypt and the Suez Canal area, which shows that these areas have the highest wind speeds in the world, 10 and a half meters per second. The World Bank is helping Egypt scale up wind energy development by opening it up to private companies and by supporting construction of a 300 kilometer long transmission line linking a future wind farm to the grid. A growing population is driving an increasing demand for power. As that increase is being met by burning more fossil fuels, the country's greenhouse gas emissions are among the fastest growing in the world. Electricity and traffic account for almost two-thirds of those emissions. Along with water and solar power, wind power provides a clean and renewable alternative. Egypt aims to provide a fifth of its total power from renewable energy in the next 10 years. And it could lead North African and Middle Eastern neighbors to follow in its footsteps.